Well hi folks, just a little quick update. The gardening wars continue this summer. Well, not summer, this year. As you can see, Michelotte's. These are the Alista. Quite a few of them are starting to send out the seed heads. So, it's only on the ones that are fertilised though. On the smaller ones that are unfertilised, not a seed head in sight. And also, on the Zebrun that I've grown again for the first time in in about three or four years again not a single seed head so just the alista in the fertilized bits so we're gonna to have to get these out even though they're small there's no point in leave, leaving them i'd rather have a small smaller shallot than a inedible uh, big one so we'll get some of these out see what size they've managed to get to and then we'll uh, i'm going to pull a bit of garlic up and see how big that is still got my main garlic over there but there's some in that bit over there that was planted in autumn last year it's just about ready to pull up so we'll see how big that's got right then folks get, get these uh <coughs> these shallots up like i said some of them are bolted i don't know how easy they'll come out okay probably no, they'll come out quite easily that's not oh yeah that's bolted so i'll have to use these straight away but not a bad size it's a good size but like i said once you get a seed head appearing like that, you just end up with a big rock hard thing in the middle. And they won't store. That's another one that's bolted, so it's dead disappointing. That one's not bolted, so that can be stored for drying. So if I just separate these out into two piles. Yeah, where the where I've not fertilized them, not a single one of those has, has gone to seed, so it's baffling what's caused it. I'll just pull these out and also the, the zebrun in the next row or so on none of those have got any seeds on either so that's a real bolt to that one look at that that's the seed head so you've just got this giant blooming rock hard thing right in the middle so it won't start that one's fine that one's not bolted but you get a clump and not every one out of the clumps bolts bolted that's not bolted that one's really bolted again. Uh, that one's bolted. Oh dear, disappointing year this. That one's bolted. Probably going to end up with none out of this. Little tiny one there's not bolted. Typical, isn't it? That's bolted. So it's yeah, dead disappointing this. Let's see how many we get. That one's all right. It's probably, oh no, no, sorry, that's bolted as well. That one's all right. <laughs> oh, it's a real Russian roulette, this. Having said these haven't bolted, there might be one already formed in there just waiting to come up, so none of them might uh, store very well this year, but it's just one of those things. There's not a lot you can do. It's been a topsy-turvy old year this year. That's bolted. That's bolted. Oh dear. That's bolted. That's bolted. Oh dear me. These are a month premature as well. I've never pulled I've never pulled these up before. Sort of the middle of August. So they're a month early. And that's bolted as well. So that's those. So so far we have. One, two, three, four, five. We've got eight non-bolters and about twice as many that have bolted. So I'll pull the rest of these out. I've only got two half rows because like I said, the other halves, none of those are bolted. That's bolted. That hasn't. And the uh, Zebrum, I've not bolted, so I've probably, to be honest with you, that's bolted. That hasn't. That's bolted. It's like a spring onion in that hasn't. I'll probably pull the, the, zib, the zibrun up anyway sometime soon because there's no point in waiting for those to bolt as well and getting absolutely zero crop. Oh look, we could be on for three in a row without having a bolter. Oh no, that's bolted. Spoke too soon. So yeah, when I get this row out, you'll be able to see the Alista. Sorry, the uh, Zebrun 
Oh, they didn't realise how many had bolted until I started to pull them up. Oh, nearly every single one. That's bolted. They're not even worth bothering with. I think all these are bolted. And they've done it so quickly as well, that's the annoying thing. Oh, we've got a non-bolter and another one. That's bolted. So is that. So is that. Um, that's just starting to grow double, which is just as bad. That's bolted. That hasn't. Oh, that hasn't. Look at that one. That's a keeper. So you've got to be pragmatic when it comes to gardening. As they say, it happens. But you just got to put up with it. Oh dear, this is so dis disappointing. Right, yeah. So, half of that's all I've got out of half of my crop of Elista this year. And I got a wheelbarrow full last year. So that's disappointing. But as you can see, these are the Zebrum. And none of those have bolted yet. So I think what I'll do is, I'll start to pull them up. I won't do them now. Because to be to be quite honest, that's that's more than big enough. And I'd rather have a crop than, like I said, there's no point in letting them get massive and then all go to seed. So I think I will be pulling those up as well. But like I said, very disappointing. The little ones over here, they're fine. For some reason, it's just the ones that are fertilised. So all these are bolted. But they're probably still edible. If I open one up. You can see in the middle, there's a hard bit. So basically you just have to chop it up, remove, remove the stalk and then use it as normal. It won't be a big deal, but these will have to be used instantly. I've no point in saving these whatsoever because they never say they never keep with a, with a, with a flower shooting. Anyway, let's have a look at some of this garlic now. Won't be many, just, just a few bulbs from last year. See how they've got on. Right then folks, let's see how the first garlic gets on. If you remember, I planted some of that. I had a really massive bulb of purple garlic that was brought back from France. And I planted that and I dug that up a couple of weeks ago. I'm dead impressed with that. I mean, they're nowhere near as big as the bulb that it came from. The bulb was absolutely enormous, but quite pleased with that. So they, they've, bulbed up, they've bulbed up well. Because these were planted in back end of last year. So... We'll see how big these are, they're just about flopping over, they're absolutely covered in rust now. So I want to get them out before it starts infecting the leeks and things like that. I'm just interested to see if they're actually bulbed up properly. Yeah, they appear to, quite small relative to normal. These are solent, solent white. Yeah, quite small. Everyone's had a lot of problems this year with garlic, one way or another. Either rust early on, or not enough cold over winter, basically, to to actually get the bulbs to split into cloves. So I'm lucky in that respect, because it's a bit colder up here. Having said that, I can't really complain, can you? It's not that bad. Bigger than a golf ball, so they're not tiny, tiny. So I'd just be interested to see, because I did plant some in early spring this year in the main bed if they've had enough cold to actually bulb up but we'll just have to see they're still growing so they've probably got about another month's worth before I harvest those we'll just have to wait and see Boy, yeah not as big as normal to be honest but not definitely not disappointing Considering everything else that's gone on this year, must have planted two in that hole. And then like a couple here. Yeah, not my usual stamp of size, but uh, certainly not a disaster. So that's the soil of white, well, some of it too bad like I said about golf ball size maybe a little bit bigger sort of average size golf ball size so 
not too bad so from the disappointing shallots to mediocre garlic that's about it folks by the way if anyone's interested in our stormy garlic basically all I do is get the first outer leaf like so strip it off which usually strips all the sort of old deadish leaves off the bulb so you're left with a white bit and then just cut it with about maybe six inches of six inches of stalk on again just gonna peel this if I can find one found one that's not got a leaf to peel off just peel this outer leaf off which will give you a nice clean clean bulb and then just rinse the rinse the roots off you can cut those off now or you can cut them off later and then you've got a nice sort of clean bulb which should dry up nicely and then once they shriveled up you should be able to store them quite easily so that's just how I slightly prepare my garlic just before I start to to store it